you guys reading? Research? You would not believe how outdated our hospitals are. It's outrageous. You're not thinking about it. Oh, no, God, no, Marcus. No, no. <laughs> you never attack hospitals. Hack your taboo, man. Well, somebody did. They use ransomware to lock the doctors out of their own systems, and they're demanding millions. Surgeries are being postponed, and prescriptions are on hold because the records won't load. Oh, man, there's got to be a better way. Do we know what kit they use? Ploxy. Ploxy? Yeah, that's prime eight. I definitely wouldn't put it past Lenny and her crew to break taboo. Well, it's been modified. New comments are mostly written in Russian. Could be Brava, then. Do we have a point of infection? And the affected hospitals all run service from Streamer. Perfect. I'm gonna check that out. And, uh, you guys... keep doing whatever it is you're doing. Trying to better understand the medical equipment. Looking for a back door. And I have been learning how to hack a colonoscopy sca cam camera. So, just pretty much what Josh said. It's not what I said. I think I can see the kidneys. Great. Sorry, I, I body checked you out. <gasps> Get oh, out! Nice Are you serious? This kills me! I don't think Dushan's gonna show up for his Titus tour. What a shame. They invested so much in the presentation. Another one of Bloom's Silicon Valley romances just died. Aw, you can't see it, but I just shed a little tear. Seriously though, we killed a 10 year investment and in probably Bloom's big chance to further tie law enforcement to the CTOS with their, whatever the fuck they were doing. Giant spider robot tank police. I refuse to admit that was a real proposal. Totally real. I swear. Okay, I'm inside the streamer building. I'll see if I can get you all access to the servers. Ooh, can you set me up with a free account while you're in there? Please, you pirate everything anyway. True, but I've never been a VIP of anything before. Hey, Wrench, you're my VIP. Violent, irritating pervert? Yeah, mine too. <laughs> well, so until we have this ransomware key, what's the damage we're looking at? Off the top of my head, access to patient records, patient tracking, lab results. 
They can't they switch back to paper backups? They're supposed to keep them. They do, but it slows everything down to the point that you're going to want to pay the ransomers to avoid the trouble. <laughs> now what hospital's gonna pay up? You do it once, you can expect to be held for ransom every year after. Several hospitals paid up in the past. Thousands of dollars, too. Some of them did get their systems back, probably infested with malware. In one case, they paid up, but the ransomers just took the money and ran. Motherfuckers. Nothing worse than a dishonest crook, huh? That's just bad for business. Paper backups don't factor in reliance on software to analyze scan results. Right. Nor do they let you coordinate those results with experts in other cities or countries. Yeah, I got you, Josh. So our only option is to find that ransomware key. Let's hope they've left a trail at Streamer. Dead sex saves Bay Area hospitals. Looks real good on the resume. That it does. Whoa. Oh. Marcus, you need to listen to this. Bay Area hospitals struggle to maintain service as their computers are crippled by ransomware. Hospital officials say there are delays, but they are keeping up care despite the setback. However, inside sources tell us paying the ransom is now under heavy consideration. If they pay out, this operation's a bust. Let's hope we find something soon. I'll post something from DedSec so they know we're on it. They won't acknowledge it publicly, but maybe it will be enough to stall their decision. Damn, that wasn't right. Holy shit, people. It's like I'm staring right down a thermal exhaust port. I wonder if the Emperor is at the bottom somewhere. He wouldn't be, because he was thrown down a reactor core. F um, the slip of the tongue. A and nothing? Nothing from Wrench? <laughs> I guess he wasn't listening. No harm done. I have no words. Marcus, thermal exhaust port? Really? Fuck. Don't have time for you. This security system is ridiculous. Shit, gotta try again. People, you're now free to snoop through streamer servers. They have several that start with MED. They didn't even try to hide them. No wonder they got hacked. Here it is. I see Ploxy installed on all the med servers two weeks ago. Can you track it to the source device? Hold on. Yes, we've got GPS coordinates. Looks like a phone. Send them to me. I'll check it out. Pizza guy. Get out! Our robot controlled armies becoming a reality? An alarming warning from hacker group DedSec was released earlier today. DedSec revealed footage taken from inside the top secret facility that showed the technology being prepped to deal with rioters. 
the hackers released information that military technology company Titus has been redirecting taxpayer dollars in their research funding to build militarized robots that would be used in domestic policing. So far, there has been no comment from Titus. I don't really believe in coincidence. So who the fuck are you? Who <laughs> shoots a guy in the ass? Drop it. How the hell are you still standing, man? Shot me in my wallet, put a hole in my brand new Billy Finns. I'll tell you what. How about I give you an IOU on your fancy pants and we just call this a misunderstanding, cool? I don't like to usually make assumptions in my line of work, but, uh, you're not Anton Bagdanov, are you? That's not Anton over there? Oh, this? No, 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 no. This over here is Ivan. They're Bratva. And you're out of questions. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I can help you track him. See, I'm looking for the Bratva, too. Here's what we're gonna do. I saw you turn that thing on. Pick it up, give it to me, without the ninja shit, and I won't blow your fucking head off. You broke it on purpose, didn't you? Just to be a dick. Look, I already tracked him. Says they're working at Pier 13. Oh, Pier 13? Mm-hmm. You wouldn't be fucking with me, would you? Because if you are, you're gonna have a little road time with Ivan the Terrible over there. That's what it says, man. One, three. One, three, huh? Guys, I found a link. Definitely Braffa. But there was a complication. What kind of complication? About six feet tall, Chinese, wears a designer suit when he's out murdering people. Yeah. It sounds like you stepped in a big old pile of organized crime drama. Well, it could be a shoe hitman. Hitman sounds about right, but I don't think he's shoe. I gave him the slip, but he's after the same people we are. You couldn't get him to work with us? The dude is insane. Ah, sanity's never been a prerequisite. I'm headed... Uh, Ow. Uh, stop! I'm headed back to the hacker space. Let's see what we can dig up with the new info. Uh, hey, Josh. I ran your description of the guy through the police database, but it's not much to go on. That's why the police use sketch artists. Yeah, it was a long shot. It looks like it worked out anyway. What? In the DeadSec channel? They say there's a guy that looks like your guy upstairs. Upstairs, like up? Stairs, yes. In the game shop? Shit. Should we sound the alarms or something? Hey, nah, that, that'll just make it worse. Look, I'll, I'll go up there and handle it. The original Chicago DedSec has coordinated operations. Everybody mostly working towards the same goal. Rumors say that the leaderless group actually has somebody upstairs calling the shots. The Council of Daves. I can't say if it's true or not, but somebody's focusing. Additions? What the fuck do you mean, additions? You had a, a group of people and some fucking dwarves or elves. Elves, if you're playing with those kind of fucking people. You rolled some dice, you killed a bunch of shit, and you got some cash. I, seriously, everyone in the world is playing this fucking thing. Why are you looking at me like I'm speaking Swahili? <clears throat> Oh, speaking of useless people, here's another one. Yeah, I followed you because I know you're full of shit, and I thought that maybe an example needed to be made, and I'm looking around this room, and I am seeing lots of potential examples. Pudding! I remember being killed by an orange pudding. Uh, th that's a uh, black pudding? Orange would have been a jelly. Okay, I'll shut up now. Why are you here? You fucked me. I told you 
not to fuck me. I just told you what I know. <laughs> I've got enough bullets to put an I lose button right between the eyes of every geek in here. You really want to do this? No. Look, we'll go together. Hmm? Look, no, we won't. Man, you're going up against the Bratva's best hackers. You think they're not ready for some goon in a fancy suit? This is in my neighborhood. Goon? You're hurtful. That's what you are. You're hurtful and stinging. I haven't done goon work in, in over a decade. Mm. But you know what? I like this new useful you. So we're gonna go with that. Come on. Goodbye, Pudding. Hey, don't call the cops, okay? I got this. I got this, y'all. So where are we headed? Looks like the Brafa's running an operation at the Crystal Springs Dam. Funny. I thought you'd say Pier 13. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. You know what? You have really inconvenienced me, kid. Bad enough, I gotta take a red eye out to this hipster shithole and deal with some serious humidity issues. I mean, what the fuck? Sweating balls in the morning and freezing them at night. Where the hell was I? Uh, inconvenience. <laughs> right. You're an inconvenience. Now you got me way off my path, talking to goddamn nerds or geeks or whatever the fuck you want to identify with. You know what? We'll go with dorks. And not just dorks. Now I'm wasting my time working with some kind of woke dork activists. Am I using that word right? Woke? Uh, I don't think so. Anyway, a couple years back I would have just popped two in your face for just seeing mine. Something is wrong with me. Gonna have to- Motherfucker! What was I saying? Oh, anyway. A couple years back, I would have just popped two in your face for just seeing mine. Something is wrong with me. Gonna have to see my guy about that. Wait, you have a shrink? Just focus on the task at hand and maybe you survive this shit. Maybe. You sure this is it? Man, don't you ever get tired of pointing guns at people? <laughs> nah, not really. Well, you're gonna have to start aiming at the other guys, right? Don't fuck this up. Yeah, likewise. All right, kid. I'm gonna stay up here with my scope and some kind of, uh, support role. Sound good? Sounds real convenient for you. Find them now! What? Ha! <laughs> you like that? That should buy you some time. Be prepared. There is an intruder. Squad, we have a run to a hostel in your area. Squad, I'm looking at an illegal use of firearms. We have an alert on a possible felon near your location. 
working conditions are shit. Close, man. We have eyes on suspect. Why can it never be easy? He's got a gun. Suspect is armed. Yabu Kurichi! Squad, he's carrying. Dum, dum, da, 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 dum. Trying to piss me off. Oh yeah. Okay. I see what you're doing here. Just have to think it through. Suspect couldn't have gone far. Let's flush him out. There's an art to taking out a car with one shot. Check under the overpass. And I've always considered myself an artist. You got incoming. They didn't give more personality to enemy AI. All they do is stand oh, around and bitch right about bullshit like. Looks like these guys are tapping into the data lines reserved for the hospitals. The ransomware is probably just a distraction to keep eyes off the data theft. Um, what kind of theft? Medical records, most likely. Oh, yeah. You could resell that data for millions. A lot more than they'll get to unlock the system. No shit, huh? So where's Anton? A backup of all the data is being sent to a luxury yacht. My guess is his. Fuck me. I know the one. I was just going to blow it up to intimidate the Bratva. Don't blow it up. I need what's on it. Yeah, well, if Anton's on board, I need to make uh, an example. Up close and personal. You know what? Meet me outside. Sending you the coordinates.
Thanks for drawing the fire away from me. I owe you one. Yeah, man, fuck you. That was fun. You're a fun guy, you know. Yeah? Why don't you stick around and play some more? Now can do. Play date with Anton. Toodles. Track the Braffa hacker Anton to a fancy yacht. What about the psychotic suit guy? Under control. Wait, Braffa hackers get a yacht? We don't even have a bathroom. We literally have to go pee in the alley. You guys better not be pissing on my artwork. Well, just paying up high and you won't have to worry about any splash damage. Ugh. I want to change the terms of our relationship. Knowing full well that you have little reason to trust me. I got zero reason to trust you, man. You crazy as hell. You know what? That's fair. That is, that is fair. But see, the thing is, I don't have any real reason to kill you anymore because I don't gain from it. So you can go ahead and put away your little ball gag there. Fuck no. It's nice, huh? Crawling with Bratva. But the thing is, is you're gonna need me to thin out that herd a little bit so you can get in there and shut down that spyware. Ransomware, man. Whatever. Here's how I figure it. I clip Anton, shut down the operation. It's a win-win. Your people are happy, my group's happy, everybody's happy. Well, except for Anton, of course, because he's dead. <laughs> yeah. No, still don't trust you. It's a good instinct. So hold on to that instinct. I'm gonna go, anyway. Uh, finish my mint chocolate chip. It's great. I hate mint chocolate chip. That's why I bought it. Anton scurried away into a safe room. That complicates things. I don't care about Anton. I just need what's on his computer. I won't get in the way of your nerd shit. You don't get in the way of my master performance. Anyway, I don't need to get into the panic room. I just need to hack his camera.
Oh, just need to grab the ransom key and I'm out. Shit. I tried to download the ransomware key, but it was updating itself too fast. He's running live encryption. I need to cut the connection. Right. If it stops receiving updates, it will lock on a password. Then it's yours. What the fuck? Somebody answer me! Right. If it stops receiving updates, it will lock on a password. Then it's yours to take. Can you pull up any work orders on the boat? I bet Anton has a failsafe. Already looking at them. Mm, you're right. He's got multiple relay points as backup. I've marked them for you. Thanks. That's all of them, Josh. It was. Anton knows his security. I'm seeing two more backup relays just lit up. Oh, plans within plans. Hopefully not plans within plans. Within plans. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Psycho's gonna fuck this up. You got them all, Marcus. The ransomware key should be locked in place now. Perfect. All right, fingers crossed. Okay, it's downloading. Of course, there he is. Sorry, pal. Opportunity came up and, well, I'm an opportunist. This really shouldn't surprise you. Apologies, but be a dear and turn yourself in, will you? Having you as the culprit would be the icing on the cake scenario here. Unfucking believable. Oh, and don't try and find me. <laughs> <laughs> 
You caught me in a good mood. Maybe on account of the mint chocolate chip, but I'm usually much less friendly. You're gonna catch a bullet one of these days, hopefully sooner than later. Lend me the first time. Bye for now. Did you guys get the ransomware key I sent? We got it. In fact, we're already working on restoring the hospitals. Something tells me they're not going to be too eager to let DedSec tinker with their security. Now, how do you plan to keep the Ruskies from locking them down again? Don't worry. The brothel won't make another attempt. Why not? Let's just say my new... Not my problem. Let's just say my new friend gave him a slap on the wrist. Are you cheating on us, Marcus? Hell no. I don't ever want to cross paths with that guy again. We've got plenty of members working legit jobs in the InfoSec community. We'll make sure the hospitals get a proper update through more official channels. Who's ready to watch the video? I just finished putting the last bit of love into it. Damn you fast. Let's see it. Citizens of the Bay Area, your health care is under siege. As politicians squander millions to create the ultimate invasive surveillance state, our hospitals struggle to provide basic services. The vast majority of medical equipment still runs on outdated operating systems, full of vulnerabilities. Exploits are all too easy to find online. The recent shutdown of local hospitals was perpetrated by hackers in the Bratva criminal group. DedSec has returned control to the owners, free of charge. Free of charge. Do not expect banks. We expect action. Demand better use of your tax dollars. Demand secure medical systems that protect your private data. Demand a government that protects you. DedSec is giving you the truth. Do what you want. As I enjoy our banter and <clears throat> underlying sexual tension. I'm hurt. I thought we moved on to overt sexual tension. Marcus, there's something I want to show you. On my laptop, dude. Oh, where you? <laughs> Pull up chair and prepare yourself. Uh, the breathtaking. Spine tingling and almost entirely mind numbing noodle keynote. <laughs> Cue it up. You all told us, hey, self driving cars sound pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> but we have always prided ourselves in delivering the best. What do you think of a car that knows you, knows who you are? Security this is that only awesome. biometrics nice. can give you. Your key is you. But in the mornings, you want time to read the news and drink your coffee while it safely drives you to work. It will remember your preferences and save them right into your biometric profile. For those who opt into the CTOS insurance programs, you get good driver discount automatically and access to fast transit lanes. Sounds too good to be true? It's not. Because at Noodle, we don't wait for the future. We build it. Huh. So they want to add biometric data on top of those CTOS monitoring systems? Yep, because that couldn't possibly go wrong, right? I mean, we all know how altruistic CTOS is, right? Oh, and insurance companies. And how they would never, ever Use our biometric data for their own nefarious purposes, right? Yeah, milk of human kindness and all that shit. There is something wrong in the state of Denmark. Maybe, uh... Some daring vigilantes should check it out. Maybe... Perhaps steal a cool car while we're at it? Because, you know, auto theft's always fun. Yeah. I mean...
Yo, Marcus. Satara, what you got for me? Well, it's a good thing you like <sighs> driving. Looks like the lead engineer on the biometric car project is a loyal customer of Driver SF. Is that right? Sure is. And I just may have set up a script to reroute his ride requests to you first. Slick. Only the best for DeadSec. Check the Driver SF app on your phone when you're ready. I'm gonna need to convince him to take us to his office, right? Yes, but we've already got a plan. That we do. <laughs> Ray, you in on this one? Well, it's like Ranch says, car theft is always fun. The plan is that we hack this guy's phone. Right, we set off the alerts on his phone saying his computer at work is getting hacked. Which makes him freak out and race into work. But we won't actually hack his computer because we don't really need to. Exactly. We just need him to think it's been hacked. I like it. Well, all you gotta do is distract him so we can hack into his phone. So, uh, where am I taking you, man? Hot date tonight? My girlfriend just broke up with me. How am I gonna get this guy talking? What was that? I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Just a little nervous, that's all. This is the first ride I've done in a while. Yeah, had a bad experience, you know, and took a break. Yeah, I can imagine you'd see all sorts of shit driving people around. What happened? Oh, hell yeah. All sorts of shit? Last one was a bunch of drunk guys, mm-hmm, all yelling and hollering at each other about some, some sort of art car they were working on. Oh, for that uh, desert festival? Yeah, so the two of them are yelling about LEDs and animatronics and sand and yeah, what kind of drugs people should be on to view their art car. Seriously? They talked about what drugs people would be on? To tailor the experience for the right kind of hallucinations or something? Yeah, exactly that. And then one guy, he punches the other guy right in the mouth. What? So there's blood going everywhere. Meanwhile, the guy who threw the punch is whimpering that he broke his knuckles. Shit. I know, right? So I end up driving them to the nearest emergency room and get this. Yeah? They both try to hug me when I drop them off. Wow. Oh, uh, sorry. My alarm just went off. Have to check this. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We gotta change direction, buddy. I'm sorry, but I need to get to work. No problem. Updated the destination in the app. I got it. No worries. We'll get you there. Shit! Somebody's breached security. Fuck! The one time I'm not in the office. Uh, yeah, that's, that's how it always happens. I can't believe this is happening now. We have deadlines. Massive deadlines. Yeah, man, that sucks. this project! Why did I ever say I'd be lead? Uh, can you go any faster? I'll try. Shit! Could you speed up? I'm trying it. I'm in a real hurry. I'm okay with you speeding faster, please.
Almost there. You're a lifesaver, man. I am totally giving you a five-star review on the app. No problem. It's my job, after all. You're the best. Here we are at Coda Print. Okay then. Uh, out of the way. Here we go. Time to get to work. I had faith in you, Marcus. It's not like the rest of us did. Yeah, I have lots of faith in Marcus. I have faith in Marcus. Oh, guys, you all just I made my day. It just means location. so much to me to hear you say that. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't trying to imply anything. I'm surrounded by clowns. But you love us. Well, maybe Josh and Marcus. Ouch! That's okay. It's a bit early in our relationship to be throwing words like love around. Time. I appreciate Emmanuel's patience. Oh, well, well, this very patient man has work to do. Requesting additional firepower. Line one, location set. Need a 1013. So, Josh found something interesting in the car's algorithms. Yes. There's a decision-making algorithm. They call it a life score. They fucking call it a life score? A what? It's a method for deciding which lives to prioritize in case of an accident. Yeah? Yeah. You're gonna like this one. The car's onboard computer has direct access to Bloom's databases. It pulls up a score according to metrics Bloom sets. Employment, income, education, race, gender. Fuck. Let me guess, me and Ray get into an accident, one of us on either side, I'm SOL because I'm a young black dude. Not quite. As you know, I'm persona non grata with Blue. My life score is pretty damn low, so in that case, I'm SOL. But otherwise, yeah, you got the gist.
Looks like we need a voice print and a retinal scan from that noodle VP who gave the keynote to unlock the car. Right. I'll get on it. Sending you his address now. Just coffee. Just a coffee date. Nothing to worry about. Meeting some strange woman from the internet. Internet dating is normal. What if she doesn't look like her picture? What if she thinks I don't look like my picture? Oh god, this is a bad idea. Why did I let Jonathan talk me into this? Oh, it's what? Oh shit, server's down. Somebody checked in faulty code again. Damn it! Yeah, yeah, I saw. I'm coming in. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Got it. Excellent. Well, you have fun gazing into his pretty brown eyes? Yeah, no. But thanks for playing that thought, Ray. <sighs> Marcus has way better taste than that. Woo! Nice pad this guy has. He should. He's a priority one, after all. How could I forget? This dude's house has the works. Smart TV, smart toilet, smart sink, smart carpeting, smart throw pillows, smart... everything. One of those is bound to have his voice print on it. I'm guessing he's the kind of guy who wants to constantly record his own brilliance. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing to report. Love bot sequence initiated. Anyone try to make a run right here? Good day, sir. Would you like a snack? The milk's gone bad. Again. Add it to the grocery order. But only half a gallon. And make a note. The grass fed raw milk goes bad two days earlier than marked. Good day, sir. Do I have any recordings left of the cooking show, the Italian chef? Damn, she's cute. Why can't I find a woman like her? Because they're sir. all married already. You're here earlier than usual. Are you yes. feeling well? To alarm location. Maybe I should watch that car show instead. Jesus! Where is that magazine? The cleaning lady couldn't have thrown it out, could she? Guys, I have his voice print, his retinal scan, and far too much information about his life. All that's left is to steal the car, which means breaking into WKZ, where they're going to be storing it in preparation for Noodle's big fancy reveal. Ah, WKZ. Fine purveyors of BS. And their infomercial about the Noodle car is going to get turned into a lovely expose of how we devalue human life.
Y'all gonna fuck around and get us arrested. What? But I think What's up? Time to steal a car, my friend. They have it on one of their sound stages at WKZ. All shiny and waiting for us. Sounds like fun. I've always wanted to break into a TV station. Since this is such a golden opportunity, boys, we should take advantage of it and plant some information gathering devices at WKZ. I like it. Keep an ear out. Exactly. I'm thinking some actual surveillance equipment and some software. I'll meet you near WKZ with all the gear. Sounds good. See you soon. Yo, wrench. Score! Check these out. I bet they use these during their undercover sting operations. Got any trouble with the van? Nope. But WKZ hired humanized Zulu as extra security after all these bomb threats uh, they received. May I? Tell me, how long have you been a kitty fondler? Hey, man, you know that ain't right. Now, when you first saw the X-ray, did you recognize the action figure wedged inside your rectum? Yeah, it was my wrench figure. Figure that was the perfect hiding spot for him. Wrench? Did you give Marcus the USB? Yep. Way ahead of you. I uh, was just telling him to jam that puppy into one of WKZ's computers. And I'll take it from there. By the way, if they ever do make a red traction figure, they better glue the mask on so it doesn't traumatize children. You say that like it's a bad thing. Right. So plant Mike, put some spyware in this system, and steal a cool car using the biometric data we got from the Noodle V? I miss anything? A few other things, but don't worry. I got it covered. All right. Oh! Everybody's out for drinks. Why are you still here? I have to so hard. What was that? But they just fail so hard. Ah! Do it. We don't want any uh. dead sick. Mike Planet. Like magic? <laughs> ka -ching. Shit, man, the car isn't responding. How, who, what now? Wrench. Hit in the game. I'm trying to turn the wheel and nothing is happening. How the hell am I supposed to drive the damn car? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it might be voice control. Just talk to it. Talk to it? You gotta be joking. No, just talk to it. Uh, 
drive car. Seriously? Exit the building, closest exit point. Driving. Shit, not through the window! Uh, I was a much better car voice. You were totally a fake car voice? But yeah, yeah you, you were better. Oh, Jesus! Turn, turn! Get me the hell out of here. All right. Without killing me. All appropriate safety protocols will be followed. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. How do I revert you to manual control? I don't understand the question. The patrol car has been dispatched after the suspect. I know, I can't keep control of the fucking wheel. You try asking the car to give you control? Yes! It didn't understand the question. Well, bypass the self-driving system. Are you a hacker or aren't you? Yeah, yeah. All right, I can do this before I get shot. Getting shot is inadvisable and will raise your insurance premiums. Ain't nobody ask you. So I go. Yeah, I got manual control. Of the car? <laughs> awesome. Don't even ask what I had to do to get it. Huh. <laughs> Finally, can catch my breath. Ooh, ooh, life scores. Life scores, that's right. We were gonna check out people's life scores. Mm, this should be entertaining. I'm sure it will be. We could just look people up. Nah, no, much less fun and less useful footage as ever. Oh, yes, that makes sense. Life scores should be visible when you hack people. Their profiles won't have the same granularity you'd find in the direct data, but will indicate high, medium, or low priorities. new self-driving car keeps your biometric data they promise you safety and security in exchange for your biometrics using ctos they can see everything about you and that may kill you noodle's car uses your life score linked to your biometric data and its algorithms if it has to choose between your safety and that of someone else the one with the higher life score lives the other dies. Your car will kill you to save someone more important than you. You may not know your life score, but Noodle does. Will they judge you worthy? We have given you the truth. Do what you will. Where the hell were you the whole time I was working my ass off? Doing stuff. How's my hair? Lynn can get it home? No? Alright, fuck you. Oh no. Well, we're in for a big one. Can you... can you feel it growing in the south? How long have you been an actor? Oh, I'd say between one and thirty years, I guess. But aren't we all acting when you really get down to it? BAM! High chance of rain, people! High chance of rain! 
Make sure you wear your protection, okay? Jesus shit, Jimmy, where's my goddamn teleprompter? You know I can't even remember my own gosh darn name unless it gives me on a feed first, right? Captain Buttfuck decided to show up. And what, without the rest of Team Shit Show? Hmm. Good luck. Oh, don't be like that. Hey, 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 sweet cheeks. Will you get my friend here a drink? Just a water, man. Not beer? Two beers? Oh, this is a prime player in my spank bag. Who's got an ass like a woman. So fuckalicious. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Pop, 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 pop. Pro tip, you intimidate them, you get faster service. <laughs> you know you could do the same thing with a smile and a compliment? Hey, man, that was really fast. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You fucking fake. At least I'm honest. You're a goddamn swindler. <laughs> You're a swindler, too. That's why you brought me here? Hmm? What if I told you there was a bunch of homeless people prowling the streets, their bodies infused with experimental nanotech? I mean, think about the kind of exposing and the uh, truthing you dead sec D bags could do with that kind of information. I mean, an army of robo hobos that don't make you wet. For real? Though? For real. It's called Project Rensense. How do you know about this? Because the first volunteers were from my crew. Your crew. First rule of asshole club is don't talk about asshole club. Ha 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 ha. Here's the thing about biohackers, right? We want to be pioneers, so we take big risks. To Rensense. We had a lot of really sick grinders and nothing cool to show for it, so we stopped volunteering. And I'm supposed to believe that Rensense just turned and started kidnapping homeless people? Sort of. You'd be amazed what a bum will do for access to a mobile clinic. Fuck off, you're just trolling me. It's nanotech transmitting a tracking signal, 910 megahertz. Go ahead, scan it with your UHF, I'll wait. Okay, so what? Your little vial is transmitting. It's been real fun, Lenny, but I'm not crawling in the mud with you. Oh, you totally are. Don't call me again. You're an ambulance chaser. You can't resist this. Hey, Marcus. Welcome to Asshole Club. I think I gotta check out Lenny's info on the homeless deaths. It doesn't hurt to check it out. There's a lot of interest in nanotech in the Bay Area. Many people believe it's the next major step in human evolution and body modification. Plenty of biotech companies are experimenting with it. Sounds like you know a bunch about this kind of thing. I want wings. Can I get wings? Can you imagine me with wings? That would be so awesome. That's theoretically possible, however. Unlikely in the near term. All I'm hearing is a lot of blah, blah, blah. Yes, you can have wings, Wrench. Stop pestering Josh. Come on, wouldn't you want wings? <laughs> wings! No, you know what kind of hell that would be managing clothing with wing holes in the back? No, what I'd want is nanotech tattoos. They can change their patterns. That would be cool. That would be pretty cool. That's much more likely to happen. We may even have the technology for it already. <laughs> Rock on. Matching dead sec nanotech tattoos. I'm at the homeless encampment now, guys. Time to start digging. Yeah, we did some digging of our own. Anything good? No, but a lot of bad. Higher than average deaths among the homeless population. A noticeable spike. Oh, that's definitely bad. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? Hey, uh, I just heard about those mobile clinics down here. I just wanted to learn more about them. Why? You look like you can afford a real doctor. Look, this is my hood, man. Oh my Just wanna know. Damn. Fine. What can you tell me about him? 
Showed up about a month ago, offering checkups, shots, and things totally free. You just gotta sign some waiver saying they can keep your info. <laughs> that seems kind of weird. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, those guys that died, did any of them go to this clinic? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you should find Marty. He went to the clinic, you know, oh, he's looking real sick. Where can I find him? He's around here somewhere. Lay down yesterday or the day before. He hasn't got up since. Thanks, man. Looks like I better go find Marty. No, uh, I'm just looking for the mobile clinic. Uh, my friend's working there, I'm supposed to meet her for lunch. You got a friend working at a death clinic? That death clinic? Uh, whoa, no, she she just said uh, she was she was volunteering to give out flu shots. Flu shots, yeah, right. Everyone who goes in there disappears. Death. Gone. You don't know what's happening. Nice try. I'm not telling you anything. Okay, or, or do you know someone who'd be willing to talk to me about it, huh? Talk to the dead guy on the couch. The dead guy? Gonna be dead soon, if he ain't already. Martin, Marty, something like that. Hey, how, how do I find him? You got eyes, don't you? Are you sure I can't do anything for you? Oh, yeah. Find Marty. Hey, hey, you want some help? I'm all right. Doc says I'm good. I'm doing fine. This will see me again next week. <coughs> the doc at the mobile clinic? Yeah. You need something, kid? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm actually just trying to find out more about the clinic. What they're injecting people with. I don't know. Just shots. But when I, I saw one of the docs threw away the injector gun thingy, it's in a yellow can somewhere around here. Hey, that's useful information. Thanks, man. Sure. Sure. Injection gun. Looking for an injection gun in a yellow trash can. Feels like I'm in a cyberpunk sci-fi movie. Hey, Josh, I found an injection gun. 
The guy I talked to said this is what they've been using at the clinic. Excellent. Sending you data now. I'm using it to update the scanning app Lenny showed you. You should be able to use it to scan for more nanotech. That would be useful. Yes. Mm. Looks like they do broadcast. You should be able to use your phone to track down where people with nanotech have been. As you get closer, the signal will get stronger. Lose your dog? Yeah, thanks for playing keep away. Come on, boy. Who's a good boy? Come here! Maybe he'll come back on his own. Yeah, but he might lose the bag. Who knows where he'll bury it? He took a bag? Uh, what was in the bag? Ham bones? <laughs> well, it's not my bag. It belongs to one of the doctors. The dog, you know, just sort of snapped it up. Thought it was a toy. You know, like, like dogs do. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, hey, man, uh, what kind of dog is it? I don't know, it's a fucking dog! <sighs> Sorry. Come on, boy. Josh. Yes? Our friend Marty, aside from being completely passed out and scanning positive for nanotech, looks like there's an injection wound on his wrist. And what do you want to bet they injected nanotech right into his bloodstream? I wouldn't be surprised. <sighs> I guess I'm not surprised either. Come on, you stupid mutt. Looks like one of the clinic doctors is gonna be missing their bag. Anything useful in it? Comb, gum, clipper card, and official staff ID. Complete with barcode. This is gonna be useful, I bet. Hey, anybody in there? No. Kind of just gave yourself away, dude. I thought maybe saying no might give you the clue that I didn't want to talk. Fine, fine, look. I'm just trying to find the mobile clinic. No, no, don't do that! Shit, look, don't do that! Listen, you may be stupid, but no one deserves that. Don't go to the clinic. I just want to find out more about it. They trick people into free healthcare, inject us with tiny machines, and watch to see if we live or die. Eh? You know it all. That was uh, a lot of information. I know it sounds crazy. The police didn't believe me either. But the clinic staff, they heard me. <laughs> and, and now they're trying to kill me. That's why you hiding out in the back, cave. Hey? Oh! Oh! If anyone asks, you didn't see me. Right. Nanotech. Fuck. Lenny may be right. Nanotechnology could solve hundreds of medical problems. Diabetes, blindness, deafness, autism. 
Not to mention enhancements to our natural abilities. <gasps> yeah, all of that is pretty cool. But doing research on the homeless without observing humane testing conditions. Yeah, would you do it? You try nanotech for, you know. Being non-neurotypical? Maybe. The experiment would be worthwhile, but only if it were reversible. I like who I am. I might not like who I would be if I didn't have Asperger's. Yeah, that's a good point. How much of that shapes who you are? I think we're on the right track. Definitely nanotech research going on here and not the authorized kind. I would agree. We need to track down whoever's behind this and shut them down. Best bet for that is the mobile clinic. One of our scouts saw mobile clinics in the Prescott area. On it. Good to see you. Yeah, same. So, fill me in. What have you found? Honestly, looks like your standard run-of-the-mill medical clinic. They do have some computers set up, of course. Expect you'll find more info once you hack into their system. And the doctors carry around these data pads. Those probably have info, too. Seems likely. I'm gonna see what I can get off the doctor's data pad. Good call. And it's winging its way to you. We'll get right on this. I have it. Decoding the encryption shouldn't take long. Got it. Rensens is keeping people prisoner. They have several of the missing homeless under observation in their facility. Guess that explains the disappearances. Found it. Time to put these guys out of business. And leave a little virus to remember us by. So long as they don't actually remember us, or identify us at all. Yeah, figure of speech, Josh. Right. One down. Hear that? It looks like the police are trying to keep this whole thing pretty quiet. Yeah? News stations are being told it's some sort of minor illness among the homeless population. Regular citizens shouldn't be worried. Right. Who cares about the homeless? All the deaths do seem to occur within a three-mile radius of known mobile clinic locations. That's two.
I'll meet you at the Rensense building. Sounds good. Anyone else want in on this? Wrench and Satara are working on their own projects. <laughs> cool. So I'll meet you there and we'll see what we can do about freeing some people and destroying some nanobots. It's a plan. Hey, thanks for letting me come along, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, man. Nanotech is pretty cool. It'd be fascinating to see what they're doing. Except, of course, they should be doing it ethically. Well, aren't and... you the cutest thing? Uh... Gee, thanks, Lenny. I didn't know you felt that way, except I really don't want to go into your spank pit. Not you, shitcake. Little Mr. Spectrum here. Me? Oh. You don't mean me. Yeah, uh, he can't go into your spank bank either. Oh, I just want to pinch your little cheek. Oh, please don't. Oh, you're like a little puppy. I always wanted a puppy. Do you want to come work for me? No. What do you want, Lenny? Uh, besides harassing Josh. Oh, you are no fun at all. I want what I've always wanted. Whatever Ren sense is hiding in there. They are beyond the cutting edge of transhumanism. They are the bleeding edge. Oh, fuck your pansy-ass sensibilities. I was right about the homeless people, wasn't I? You need me. I know access codes. I know how their systems work. Yeah? Why'd you call DedSec, then? Because I need human shields? That's not very nice. Well, I'm not very nice. Except to you, sugar. Oh, you are wasting your time with those D-bags. See, the thing is, I have the Super brain. Super creepy. I just need the brawn and someone to back me up in the hacking. And even though Captain Buttfuck annoys the piss out of me, he can hack his way out of a paper bag. I'm flattered. Well, whatever. We gonna do this or what? Okay, so, uh, <laughs> I was thinking, Josh and I... No, 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 We're not risking him. Sugar Plum stays put. But... Nope, it is just the two of us. Unless you're not up to the challenge. You're totally gonna turn on me after this, aren't you? <gasps> of course I am. And what is up with you and Josh? He reminds me of someone. I just really wanted to see the nanotech. Oh, sweetie. I will let you look at any nanotech I liberate, okay? I promise. So creepy. Move it, shit widget. Shit widget? Move! Hi, man. Bye. Looks like this is the research lab. Finally. Oh, I'm hurt, Lenny. I thought we were having a moment. Ah, oh, don't flatter yourself. You're breaking my heart. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, can you imagine the sheer quantity of tech they have hidden away here? It's like being a kid in a candy shop. Hey, we're here to help people. Oh, of course. I'm all about helping people. And guess what? I'm a people. Damn! Yes! You want to know why I'm here? Why I care about this shit? Because it can make us better, smarter, faster, more aware of the world Hell around yeah. us. Don't you want that? It can make our lives longer, prevent us from getting hurt or sick. Hey, those are all nice ideas, but I'm not buying it. You think the world can continue like it is forever? You think we aren't about to burn out the planet with wars and waste? Nanotech can clean up the environment, repurpose the toxic Ooh. shit we're putting into the air all the fucking time and make it useful. That may be. But that's not what Rensense was doing, and you know it. They were trying to come up with cool toys for rich people to buy, and they were using poor people's lives to do it. Hey, yo. All right, you go hack the computer on the right side of the room and open the door. Sure. Want me to order you a pizza while I'm at it? Ha. Huh. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Yo, oh, you stuck? Are you stuck? <laughs> Shit, fuck, fuck. You, come on, come on, come on! Okay. Lenny got in first. Fine, we just need a plan that's better than hers. Didn't her plan seem to be, grab shit I want? 
Shouldn't be hard to have a better plan. I need to find the shutdown code for the nanobots. Our antidote, if you will. And free any people they may be using for experiments. Right. Plus destroy all the nanotech I can find here, or they'll just go out and do it all over again. Wipe their research data, and keep an eye on Lenny. Lenny wants their nanotech for her own uses. Yeah, I don't trust Lenny any further than I can throw her. It's unlikely you could throw her far. She outweighs you. <laughs> that is entirely true. I wouldn't put it past her to have some of her little friends show up. Or use any nanotech she finds on other people just for shits and giggles. That does seem to be in keeping with her general personality profile. Yep. Totally, Lenny. <laughs> Glad we agree. Got it. Looks like they really are keeping prisoners. Oh, excuse me. Experiment subjects trapped here. Jesus. We knew they were doing that. Yeah, it's just hard to believe. What else did you find? Approximate locations where they store their nanotech, where they keep the majority of their research, and where we can find the deactivation codes for the nanobots. Looks like I'm good to go. We having fun yet, dead sec? Yeah, it's like a party, just with nanotech and people dying. Best day of my life. Nah, 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 no need to pout, just because I got in first, because I'm a better hacker than you. You keep believing that. Maybe it'll make it true. Oh, it's true, all right. I just needed you to be the muscle brawn, not brains. I mean, if I need a brain, I would ask your little friend. Josh, you mean? Yeah, but what the hell was with that? I was seriously worried you were about to molest him or something. Reminds me of someone I used to know. Somebody's got to be protected from all the shit snatches in this world. Wow, Lenny, that was almost sweet. Ah, fuck you. And that's the Lenny we all know and love. Looks like I have our first container of nanotech. What now? Find the valves on the container. Got them. Then you hack them and increase the internal pressure. And then shit blows up. All right, little robots. Time to go boom. How is it Put the gun away. I see the code now. We should go back to the homeless camp and use this to save them. We're here. What have you got for us? The cure for our friends back at the homeless encampment? It should deactivate the nanites. Once they're inert, they'll pass out of the body harmlessly. You mean these guys are gonna be pooping out robots? Always keeping it classy, Wrench. I understand the shift from animal to human test subjects will certainly get results faster. But if anyone from the regulatory board finds out, we'll be in deep trouble. Seriously deep trouble. I mean, it's not like anyone would particularly miss the people we're selecting as subjects, but the ethics board gets so overexcited about human experimentation. I freed our buddies. Some of them look really confused. Yeah. Well I realized they were experimenting on people illegally and killing them. Not all of them. And what are a few lives against thousands? 
or millions against a cure for diabetes or epilepsy or cancer? Didn't think about that, did you, Boy Scout? For all you know, they're developing nanobots that can eat cancer cells and prevent it from spreading. Then they should go through medical trials, like all the chemo drugs and other experimental cancer treatments. And it's not like that's what you're here for. Oh yeah? How do you know? How can you know what matters to me? You mind reader all of a sudden? You want to tell me you know my body better than I do? Or better than my doctor does? What the shit? Wait, I didn't know. You have cancer? Nah, bitch, just fuck it with you. <laughs> if you get through this before me, you're just gonna destroy all the research and tech, aren't you? Damn right I am. What they're doing is unethical, and it's not like the tech works. It's killing people. Well, you destroyed the research and all those deaths are in vain. You think on that. Total BS. Why are you so into this stuff anyway? Why aren't you? Anyone with half a brain would be interested. I mean, of course, that rules out most of you dead sex schmucks. Okay, I blew up their nanobots and freed their prisoners. I've tracked down their backup servers and can make sure their data files are corrupted. And good work. Now to get out of here. And I've tracked Lenny's path out. You need to retrace her steps and get out the back door. I can keep you from being detected that way. She's nearly out, Marcus. You need to hurry. Shit, she's gonna get away. I'll try to slow her down. <laughs> Good, man. I'll be there soon. We don't want Lenny running wild with shit tons of nanotech. She can't use it all on herself. She can use it on her followers. Or sell it. Y yeah, without any warnings that it may not be fully tested. I'm on it, Marcus. Is that the nanotech? Mm-hmm. Mama found her babies. Can I see it? No, uh, no time. Oh. Okay. Are you gonna fucking puppy dog me now? Oh, Jesus. Fine. Here. Take a look. Wow. There must be thousands of dollars of nanotech in there. <laughs> you are so cute. Try hundreds of thousands. Okay, show and tell's over. Gotta go. Hey, 
What the, was that? Yes. You didn't stop her? <laughs> you straight played her! Don't fuck with the hot sauce. Whoa! <laughs> Yo, that, that's like a line from a Cisco movie. Damn, that's my boy. It should pack a punch for the PR vid. Experimenting on the homeless, people dying, illegal nanotech? Yeah. Crazy shit. Within the next 10 years, you will be bombarded with the promises of nanotechnology. Miracle health solutions, anti-aging treatments, psychological tuning. The dream? By 2040, humanity may be rendered immortal. The cost? Installing a vulnerable operating system in your own body and handing over the controls to a corporation interested only in selling and maintaining nanotech. Corporations like Rensense. Testing has only just begun in its current form. And testing requires guinea pigs. Rensense took your homeless, tempest-tossed your wretched refuse and injected them with experimental nanotech. They ask them to sign away their legal protections in exchange for free medical care. DedSec has uploaded everything we know about this scam to your usual depots. We have given you the truth. Do what you will. Damn! How are you? Nice! 